in 80% of my applications, I have an admit. Hello everyone and a big welcome to my first YouTube video. So in the last application season, I had applied to a few master's courses and yes, now as of now I have received all the admits and all the rejects. So a lot of you guys from you know the last past few weeks have been asking me that you have to apply kiya tha, apko se admit aya. So to put an end to all that, this video is for you. So at the onset of this video, I want to mention two specific points here for those people who are going to apply to Norway and Sweden. So Norway can be a very esoteric location, especially for Indians. That is largely because of the opinions that we have about Norway. But for those people who want to apply, there is one small tip. Norway is going to utilize a central application portal. It is called the Soknats web. The link is there in the description below. And you put your details, you put your listings and then you apply. And then like, so you don't have to apply individually to every, to, to every institute, to every course. Second point. The same thing for Sweden, they don't have a specific name for the portal, it's just a website and there you have an option of applying up to maximum four courses as a master student. Now regarding these two points, there are, there are specific details which I am going to reveal at the end of this video. So moving on, I had applied to two kinds of master's courses, one are the standalone master's courses, very new academically associate only with one university. You spend your time at one location to be precise and joint master's degrees where you spend your time at more than two universities. So in the part one of this video, I want to speak about my application to joint master's degrees and always keep this in mind. The links of all the courses are there in the description below. This does not imply that I am endorsing any of these courses. It is just that if you want to explore this course, you have the link with you, so it will be easy. So I had applied to six master's degrees. The first one was EIT, Inno Energy, MSc Amin. MSc Amin, the degree is an MSc, it's not an MS, as it happens with American, American colleges. So your Amin, European Master in Nuclear Energy. Now EIT is a, is a venture of the European Union. They manage uh, education, especially master's education in the science, in the STEM sector, basically. You know, energy is a specific unit which manages master's programs and PhD programs in energy sector. I got an admin for this course. Then I applied to a joint master in nuclear engineering, which is managed by EPFL, Lausanne and ETH Zurich. And this also has substantial input from the Paul Skara Institute. I was rejected for this course. After that, I applied to EIT Amis. So now EIT, as I said, it is a venture. And EIT has a sub-venture, EIT Raw Materials. They are managing these integrated master's courses, which are having material science content, as well as the business and finance content. So EIT AMIS stands for EIT Master Degree Advanced Materials for Innovation and, and Sustainability. And I also applied to EIT SUMA, which is EIT Master Degree in, in Sustainable Materials. So now these both of these master's degrees had the same coordinator and my EIT SUMA interview was scheduled first. And Varini asked me what was my first choice. After the necessary discussion, he told me that if I am admitted into EIT SUMA, I will be automatically rejected from EIT Amis because your master's degree in Europe hai, to aap unko scheme nahi de sakte. So yes, around two weeks after the interview, I received an email stating that I was accepted into EIT SUMA and a few weeks after that, I received a rejection notice from EIT Amis. Next, I applied to Erasmus Mundus joint master's uh, degrees. Now Erasmus Mundus is a much, much more famous venture of the European Union. They spend millions of euros every year for research and education, especially masters and PhD levels. They have around 40 plus masters programs. The link for the masters for the master catalog is in the description below. I had applied to two masters programs from the Erasmus Mundus. The first one was 
EMJMD Sarana Erasmus Mundus Joint Master Degree Sarana Sarana is somewhat an acronym for safe and reliable nuclear applications they have two streams you can apply to only one they have a radioactive waste management and decommissioning part and they also have a nuclear reactor operation and safety part I had applied to the radioactive waste management and decommissioning track and yes I was accepted next I applied to EMGMD FAME Plus, Erasmus Mundus Joint Master Degree FAME Plus, Functional Advanced Materials Engineering Plus. Now, this also was an admit. So, the specific thing which I like about these Joint Master Degrees is that you academically associate with at least two universities in Europe and you also have mandatory internships here. So if you are trying to build a career in research or you aim for a PhD, which would be the same thing, this is going to be extremely helpful to you as it really gives you an exposure of working with two universities at the same time work with an institution, it could be a company or a university. So that really helps you to understand what will, what can a career in research look like. A big thank you to you guys for watching the first video to the end. Now. In the part 2 of this video, I will be explaining about my applications to standalone master's courses and also I will be speaking about the two specific points about Norway and Sweden applications that I had just mentioned earlier in this video. Do remember to watch the second part of the video, the link is in the description. Thank you.